There's a lot of environmentalists who have spent their careers specifically focusing on the protection of animals and conservation, and they don't have empathy for black and brown folks and feel like it shouldn't be included in their work. The Environmental Protection Agency can say, race and income are the number one and two indicators of whether or not people will experience environmental injustice. But there are a lot of people who just don't want to believe that racism exists. You want to make sure that you protect the whales. But when it comes to black and brown folks, we're not even a consideration. And I find that to be really odd, especially because the world's indigenous peoples, including black indigenous peoples, protect over 80 percent of the world's biodiversity, but are only 5 percent of the population. It can feel, yeah, really dehumanizing at times, showing up in environmental spaces as a Black woman, trying to advocate for things as simple as our right to breathe, clean air, which it doesn't feel like that's controversial at all. Um, And then it gets controversial. But I know civil rights activists have struggled with the same thing for decades. Um, wanting to just say, hey, we deserve equal rights, and then getting so much pushback. 